you guys have got some things figured out defensively? Do you like how you guys are tracking? Uh, no, I definitely, you know, and I'd like to see how we're playing right now. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting put in some, some real good defenses, some good calls, different packages, many looks. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're getting to a, a, perfect, a perfect type of spot right now, um, you know, how we're, how we're executing. So, um, you know, we're, we're taking each day as, as, as it comes and um, continue to grow, continue to watch that growth, and it's just playing on Sunday. Challenges, if any, of going up against a rookie quarterback you don't really have a, a big sample size from. I mean, yeah, but you, you can still see he has the, the tangibles. He was you know, he's picked high for a reason. Um, he's a really good quarterback. Uh, he has a good um, feel for the game. Um, he's developing pretty well. They have they have a system around him that works for him. Um, so um, we're excited. I'm, I'm excited to play him. He's you know been an electric player in college. Um, you know I'm, I know he's gonna do good, good things in the league too as well. So. Uh, so our first time playing him, see what he has, and by watching film, he has some good things to him. So um, we have a few things planned, and just come to SQ and them on Sunday. What have you seen Jalen Smith bring to the room so far? Uh, energy, uh, a lot of wisdom, um, a lot of knowledge. You know, he's just one of those guys that's played at a high level for a long time in his league, and uh, seeing him come come into the room, um, you know, there's been no no type of weird weirdness or anything going on. And we, we, we've all embraced him. He's embraced us, and we kept pushing and. I'm excited to learn from him. Uh, you know, we got two vets in the room now where they need some real, real good knowledge in the room where they're just passing, passing down things, th things they've seen, things they've just been through. So uh, to have him sit in a room is a, is a real great addition. Chris, when, when you, when Devondre came here, did you know that he was going to be this type of player? At what point did you realize that this guy's a, a stud? Uh, I mean, shoot, he shows it each and every Sunday, each and every day here at practice. Uh, he's a ball player. Um, you know, he's one of those guys I'm very excited to play next to when I get the opportunity. And he makes the most of every, every chance he's on that field. He's always around the ball, flying, through, flying around the ball, great leadership skills. And uh, he's like, like I say, he's one of those guys that are in the room that I try to learn from being, that's only my year two. He's been in this for a while now. So he's definitely, you know, a role model in that room as far as, you know, just that aspect. What were your initial impressions of him? Because I'm not sure as, you know, as, as a late off season sign yet, I'm not sure that there was from the outside this kind of expectation that, that he'd go and do what he's done. What, what were your initial impressions? I mean, not 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 knowing much of uh, you know Dre. I didn't know what he was you know coming in with. I've seen him a couple of games here and there, but um, so it's kind of a learning learning curve for all of us. See, you know what type of player he was. But like I said, he shows it each and every day. Every day he's in the film room, um, on the field, whatever it is, he's showing that he's he's here for a reason, and you know we're glad to have him. Chris, what's he what's he like with you guys? From a personality standpoint, because we've only gotten to talk to him through Zoom a few times, he just seems, you know, kind of quiet, like mm -hmm. understated. But on the field, he looks like a pretty, you know, intense guy and everything. What's what's his personality as, as a leader of the unit? Um, I mean, his personality is it's just who he is. I mean, I can't really speak speak on that, but it's like he just he's it's very infectious. He brings energy to the room, brings energy to the defense. Uh, he he speaks up when it's when it's needed to be. Um, but he's one of those guys that you know he is kind of quiet. But like I said, when it's needs to be something, something needs to be said, he will say it. Um, but he's he's a great leader, a uh, great player for us, and I'm, I'm excited to play next to him. You guys, oh, you guys have started to show some of your identity as a defense. But what do you do in practice, and how do you get over this hump of making stops in the red zone? Uh, that's just something we continue to try to self reflect on in the film room. Um, you know, we preach about it, you know, uh, try to be great down there and wherever we're at on the field. Um, so, you know, the things that we try to do in practice is try to, you know, keep our communication high, play with great eyes, play with great discipline, and just, you know, play our ball. Don't do nothing different, just play our ball. And, um, you know, things start turning around um, in our favor pretty soon. So how, how did you take this signing of Jalen? Obviously, you've been a starter here for more than a year now. You mm -hmm. played a lot of good football, and then they add a kind of, kind of a high-profile guy to your mm -hmm. spot. Uh, I mean, there's, there's nothing I can control in that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm here for a reason. That's to do my job. So whatever role that is, um, I'm excited to play it. Um, give it my 100% like I always will. Um, but like I said, he's a great addition to the room um, of great knowledge, great. He's an elite athlete who's been playing at a high level for many, many years. So um, there's only nothing but high praise for, for that signing. Chris, you, you mentioned, you know, learning from him because he's a veteran. But as far as this defense goes, you're more veteran than him. Mm -hmm. How has that worked with the uh, um, yeah, he's came in and tried to with as much knowledge as he can. Um, you know, I, he's meeting with our coaches. He asks us questions in the meeting room, on the field, just trying to make sure he's trying to, you know, learn as fast as he can. And whatever I know, I'm, I'm telling him. I'm not going to hide nothing. It's, it's for the benefit of our team. So um, I want to see him succeed. I want to see all of us succeed. And 
by, by doing that, it's just, you know, spread what we know. That's what we're doing. Can you take us through your sack last week with a bulldozer running back and all that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, uh, hole opened up pretty wide. Uh, the shot it. I seen the way he was positioned. It seemed like the best way to get to the quarterback, which was a straight line. So I was like, at that point, let me just put my head down, kind of get past the running back, still got an arm, and was able to get Joe Burrow down. So it was definitely a highlight of you know my play this year. Um, it was definitely definitely a great play. What's the difference in the defense right now where you guys are compared to where you guys started in the opener? Uh, I would say we're getting more comfortable, uh, not just with the system, but with each other. Um, you know, we're communicating at a, at a high level. High level now. Um, you know, we're expecting a lot of things that we we watch together in the film room and uh, come together on the field. So, um, the biggest thing I would say is getting more comfortable. Um, you know, I, I'm really excited to play with this group. We do a lot of good things, and you know, we're we're making those steps each and every Sunday. So, um, I'm excited to go back on the field this Sunday and make a make another step towards where we, where we want to be. You you were on the field in the preseason, but almost nobody else was. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that like to go into a game? with none of that experience built up and, and I mean, you say more comfortable, is that just kind of what it's been? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, preseason, you know, I, I want to be out there. Uh, every chance I get to play, I want to be out there. But, um, you know, those guys, you know, they, they came in ready to go game one and we've, we've decided to build upon that uh, each and every week. So um, we have a great group, a lot of vets in that room, a lot of guys with great knowledge. And it's all about, like I said, getting comfortable with the system. And I believe we're doing that now. Um, I feel good about where we're at, but there's always room to grow. and. Uh, so that's what the film room comes in for and practice and stuff like that. So we're, we're heading in the right direction. And as long as we stay where we are and keep, you know, increasing, it will be, be good things ahead. With that being said, as you guys still get comfortable in the system, just how difficult have the injuries made it for, for the progress there? Uh, I mean, we always preach next man up. Um, you know, there's who, who's ever, whoever's name's called on game day is going to be ready. Um, so we, we always feel comfortable who, who's in there. We constantly rotate during practice. Um, in a film room, whatever it is, we're you know we're all helping each other. Like I said, um, it's all shared knowledge. So there's no drop off whenever you know someone goes down or if whatever happens. You know, there's there's we rally around each other and just continue to push push forward. Has forming this sort of you know one two punch tandem alongside Devondre has that surprised you the chemistry there? Or how have you guys built on that? Um, I mean, not really. I mean, it's, it's a good chemistry with you know whoever I'm playing next to or whoever Devondre is playing next to. Um, we have a lot of guys like like I said that can play at a high level for us, um, whether it's inside uh, linebackers, outside D line to the secondary. I mean, we have guys all over the place. So um, it's, it's all about just being comfortable with with the team, with the defense, and like I said, I feel like we're we're there. Just got to continue to grow. Thank <laughs> you.